Hello there, welcome to the Maple Veg Patch. Uh, two newbie allotmenteers uh, trying to grow the best produce we can. So uh, this is our fortnightly vlog. I haven't done a vlog for it might even actually be longer than a fortnight, but anyway, around about a fortnight. Um, we've come down this morning, it's quite mild. Um, so just have a look at the temperature, see what it says. Bear with me. Saying it's about 55 degrees, so um, we've, everything's slowed down now. We've not we've not much growing really. Um, uh, a lot of stuff to come out. Um, our sweet corn got blown over in winds and rains, battered that over. I don't know whether I'm going to take that out or just leave it and see how we get on because it's still still got some ears on it. Some some sweet corn cobs, whatever they call them, growing. Um, well, sal there's little salad beds gone, as you know, all the carrots have gone, and one thing and another. So I'm going to take the green beans out today because they've stopped now. Although I could just see there is some on, but they're absolutely, you know, they've probably gone too far now. Um, just do a bit of general tidying up. There's an old cauliflower to come out, which's not really done out. Um, I'll show you all the pumpkins. See how show you how they're going. I just had a quick look. There's one or two that's gone a bit mushy, I think. Uh, we've had a harvest of pears. So I believe the conference pears, we had a harvest of conference pears, quite a big tub, uh, ripened them off at home and uh, funnily enough I just tried one this morning and uh, they're like, I, I can't explain the texture, really crun crunchy even though they, they, felt, they feel soft at touch but they're not, they're not very tasty either so it's a shame really because it looked like, you know, it's, it's borne a lot of fruit as that uh, pear tree but obviously no it's, it's in the tasting, isn't it? it's in the eating, so that's not good eating really. Whether it's just this season, uh, this year, I don't know. But we'll we'll keep it. I was thinking of taking it out, but we'll keep it and, and see what happens. But they're not um, they're not eaters. Maybe you could put them into a crumble or something like that. I don't know. So that's another disappointment. Um, and the greenhouse. We'll have a look in the greenhouse pretty much slugs have got everything but I didn't want to use slug pellet you know the people oh, I used used um, copper tape and you know put a, a, a tub of uh, beer out and they'll all go in that and you know there's all these different types of things that people tell you but anyway I don't know if you could hear James just trimming grass up there it's still a bit wet really but anyway um, so we'll have a usual thing, I'll spin you around, we'll have a tour around, you can see what's what. Uh, like I say, I mean it is a nice day this morning, the sun's lovely, but it, it's getting wetter and colder now, so I don't think we're going to get anything more. I have got some things, overwintering things to put in, like um, I've ordered some onions, uh, shallots and garlic, uh, plant out roughly end of October, so they'll grow through throughout winter. I believe garlic and onions and that don't mind a bit of uh, bit of winter frost and such like. Um, we're hoping to get a delivery of uh, manure to put down. We we'll get everything up first, I think, and then we'll we'll do a blanket of manure and everything. I leave that to rot down throughout winter. Uh, I was going to put some cardboard down and you know some uh, some of that weed membrane type stuff, but we're just going to blanket it with with manure and let the let the winter do its work, the, the ice, the frost and that, um, just see what happens. So we've enjoyed it, we're still enjoying it, we've not have, had, had, any, had any more successes to tell you about, so um, with that in mind I'll just spin you around, we'll go into the greenhouse first and then uh, we can have a look at everything else. So bear with guys. Right. So here we go into the greenhouse. I'm going to redo this. I've probably told you this a million times, but we're going to rejig the greenhouse in the winter months. Uh, first thing, nice pepper. That's all right. Two peppers. 
the slugs were getting these but I put them on these little these little mesh things which uh, which stop slugs getting to them so we're all right there uh, they're peppers peppers somebody says these peppers come back next that two or three years they'll grow off or so I was think I was going to bring me throw them away but obviously obviously not I need to hang on to them if anybody knows out about that uh, these need watering as you can tell but we've got chilies they're Hungarian hot wax chilies then there's one there as you can see it at the back I think the slugs have got to that rest of the tomatoes so there's still some tomatoes coming on as you can see plum ones uh, but same again I think for this year I think the greenhouse has, uh, has done its business but we'll, we'll persevere with those uh, we'll persevere with the with the peppers though we might as well uh, and that one's got none on as you can see so that's probably not going to do anything so here we go outside um, that's a cold frame I think I put some these are tomato, tomatoes that we put outside but there's this uh, strawberries so we took some runners off the of strawberries and there's some strawberry plants there for, ready to go in another bed when we do redo a strawberry bed um, come round the back wheelbarrow uh, hose pipe and then all those plant pots and everything stored there for next you know for when we need to start growing seedlings on so there we go up to the top so as, as I told you the carrots we took all them out that's all going to get redone I'm going to get rid of this cold frame I think and maybe just do the carrots in in that bed there do like a little raised bed for the carrots um, the lettuce little salad patch type thing that's all done now so we'll uh, we'll do something with that we'll do something with this whole area here to be honest where the coal frame is in this little extended piece i put on um there's the green beans that have come up today i'll put them in compost so they're done now we've had quite a big harvest off as beans we did plenty of beans and as you can see the peas peas aren't doing much well they're not doing anything they're dead <laughs> uh, compost bin and everything so I'm hoping the herbs herbs will do all right through winter I, hope that, I don't think the frost will kill them maybe you lot can tell me can tell me different a um, couple of beetroots left to grow on so for some pickling uh, mint strawberry parsley this is where all the potatoes were, I don't know if you can remember. We, we made a start riddling this for getting all the stones and rubbish out of it, but I don't think we're going to carry on it with that. It would be taking ages. I think we needed something a bit bigger, really. You know, a bit a bigger sieve, if you like. But I'm going to split this up into three anyway. So that's where them canes are at the end there. That's, that's the size of the beds and the walkway in between, you know. So, yeah. We get some wooden and partition it all off down here. Um, the cabbage still going strong, and there's a, there's a swede in there, just down there. So this is what happened to the sweet corn. I'll come round this way and be able to see it better. We had some strong winds and rain, and it gets really windy here, and it just basically flattened it all up, made a right mess of it. So. I'm thinking it's still gonna, it's still gonna get some sweet corn off, even though we put them in late, um, like that for example. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna do out with them. I'm just gonna let them see what happens. Well, that's a shame, really. Nobody else's has gone down. Funnily enough, only mine. That's weird, isn't it? Anyway, onions. So they're looking brilliant. Them onions. Didn't think we were going to get any onions because we put these in late as well because of that loss that we had. But they're doing all right. Quite pleased with them. And then there's pumpkin patch. So there's some pumpkins. 
a fair old size them and another one there little one one at side of it i noticed one i don't know why but it has and one there look just gone to mush but i'm not right bobby we've got one two three three that i can see we've got four this big one here four five another one there six seven Seven, I think there's another one down here somewhere. If I have a look. Yeah, eight. So if we, if we, if we get all them eight coming, that look like they're, they're well established. So I don't think. Oh, there's one there. That's I don't know if that's been eaten by slugs. Looks like it, doesn't it? Can you see? So if we get them eight that come through, that'll do me. I don't think next time. We, I don't think we'll make such a big. A big pumpkin patch, see if I can lift you up and you can see. So yeah, happy with them so far. And then there's uh, strawberries. I'll leave them for next year, I think they'll, they'll I'm hoping they're going to come through strong. Pears. Well, we know about the pears, I just mentioned it to you. Not good eating really. They look nice, but they taste rubbish, <laughs> which is a shame. The foxes like them, though, as you can see. One there eating. I think foxes try and get them off and eat them, and then what's left of it, raspberries. I think I've mentioned to you what we're going to do about this bit up here. We're going to turn it into a composting area, maybe, or even we might even just look into another bed for maybe salads or something like that. I don't know yet. But, uh, yeah quite enjoying that enjoying the thought of that digging it all up and making a little composting area should be good uh, have a look here there's some raspberries look a couple of raspberries left look quite good them don't they and eat them rhubarb let that die off this year we'll harvest that next year make his own rhubarb stuff there we go back down to the bottom end nothing much more we can tell but um, looking forward to it getting it all stripped back now getting all the soil treated with manure and one thing or another fertilizer if need be and then um, and see what happens so like I say guys usual thing any hints or tips I'll just turn you back so any hints or tips um, things we should, we should be doing this winter to prepare for next growing season um, any pointers you know the score put it in the comments below like our, like our content, subscribe to us share it with your friends let's get uh, the maple veg patch out there 380 odd I think something like that 370, 380 uh, subscribers at the minute don't forget we have our facebook page the maple veg patch 180 odd on there so we're growing all the time slowly but surely um but at the end of the day we just we're just uh, honest we just give honest opinions of how we're trying showing you what we're doing whether we're succeeding or failing the main thing is we're having a go and uh, we're enjoying it so um thanks for tuning in guys uh and remember Keep gardening.